The family of Suleiman Senfka claims he was picked two weeks ago from his photo studio in Kazoo, Angola in Kawempe Division by plain-clothed security operatives moving in a taxi. His family of five children is now in the hands of his 17-year-old elder son, Derek Chibirige. Today, the state minister for internal affairs, Mario Obiga Kania, confirmed that police is now searching for Senfka's whereabouts, although some in the same force say he is being held by the chieftains of military intelligence. Yes, the information was that that man disappeared, but not necessarily arrest. Whether he was arrested by security officials or he was taken by thugs. You know thugs are available. They are also doing wrong things. So whether he was taken by them or not is what we have not yet established. Lately, many suspects have been arrested beyond 48 hours, with their relatives and lawyers prohibited from visiting them. Obiga Kanya says this is unlawful. The position is when you are arrested officially, the family should be informed. And as soon as possible, you should be taken to court. That is the official position. The regime is becoming more and more hostile and more and more destructive to the values that we have cherished as a country for a very long time. If I've committed an offense, I should be proven uh, from the courts of law. So why not produce these people in the courts of law so that they, 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 they can defend themselves? Situations or incidences like this uh, only uh, help to erode the confidence that the public uh, should have. Obiga Kanya, who is also the Telugu East legislator, has also condemned torture by security forces while effecting arrests of harmless suspects. This caused widespread alarm following the arrest of Yusuf Kawoya last week. Kawoya was yesterday released by the chieftains of military intelligence without any charges. And I and the government has condemned that arrest. It was wrong. Torture is not allowed. And especially when that man had been subdued, there was absolutely no reason for the additional torture. Meanwhile, Obiga Kani has also revealed that security agencies are investigating the source of the hit lists on which 16 senior public officials appeared as targets of assassinations. It's unfortunate that you, some Ugandans should target any other Ugandans for that kind of terror. Now, whether it is true or not, the security of those persons and any other Ugandan is the responsibility of the government of Uganda. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.